So the integration of AI then, so what does it mean for qualitative research going forward? Um, so I think there's a narrative out there, right? So one thing struck me as soon as I saw um, ChatGPT and generative AI. So uh, let me tell you a story. And, you know, my daughter was looking for a job um, to 18 years of age. She was looking for a summer job and we brought out her CV and then she was looking for how she would describe her experience in a cover letter. So I sent her off to ChatGPT and she came back five minutes later with this amazing cover letter. Right? So as soon as I saw that, I said, I can never trust the provenance of text anymore. So I think what generative AI, generative, what generative AI means is that it's the end of trust in text in a qualitative research context. You can never really understand or trust where your text comes from anymore. Um, so our immediate positioning then at Endemo was that all quality must go to video. Why does it go to video? It must go to video because at least you can see the face of the human um, and you can stand over the, the provenance of the raw data that you collect when you're working on behalf of your clients. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, historically, you couldn't move everything to video because it was so hard to analyze, but the, I guess the, the, the double edge of the sword with generative AI is I think it's the end of text, but it's the scaling of video and it makes all that scale vi scaled video super quick to analyze now. So basically, we've had one client who used to do 40 participant projects. As soon as we switched on OpenAI, they started um, doing 400 respondent projects. So based on that data point, I believe Qual is going to get 10 times larger. I think Qual is going to have 10x the reach um, and has the potential to get into quantitative numbers, uh, which is really, really exciting. So what that opens up then is opens up the possibility for surveys to become more video-based. Okay. I think the survey industry that's based on open-ended text is, is not going to be there in two years' time. I think all of that open ends in a survey quantitative research context must go to video. Um, I think as well as it means that video can be always on, right? So I think historically research was, was done maybe in one or two week bursts and they're very intensive studies. Um, I think now we have the potential with mobile and digital ethnography or in the moment video research to have hundreds of participants in panels, always connected to the researcher, always connected to the brand, um, where tasks can be going out on a weekly basis and you can collect thousands of video feedback points uh, weekly over time and just have this kind of ability to tap into your customer, get closer to your customer and understand what they're thinking at any point in time and all done during using video in a way that's really quick to analyze. A very long winded answer, but I, we're very excited about the reach of it. I think it's it's going to absolutely transform qual. I think it's going to 10x qual. And I think video is going to be the absolute foundation on which that transition happens.